Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna take a look at what's going on with you, what's going on with your person. I've already pre-shuffled your cards and we are ready to split the deck and get going. But I'd like to welcome all of you here, whether you are a repeat vi visitor or somebody brand new. Super happy to have you here. If you have not yet subscribed, there's a lovely little button down below to do so. And why haven't you subscribed yet? Would love for you to subscribe. All right, my dears, let's get rolling. We have the High Priestess, Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, King of Wands, The Moon, Six of Wands, The Tower, and the Two of Swords. On your side, Nine of Coins, fantastic. The Chariot, fantastic. The Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sag, but don't have to be. Um, nothing will come of this situation. All right. <laughs> Void, of course. Nothing will come of this situation. All right. Well, I definitely see that it's not going anywhere at the present moment. Um, this particular person who is um, on your mind or already within your um, life in some way. I see that there is someone right here at the very center of everything. This yellow card is, is surrounded by these darker looking cards, right? So here we have the King of Wands, somebody who is wanting to take action towards you, Virgo, but they're not doing anything. They're absolutely not doing anything because these, these cards on this side are representing your person and these on this side are representing you. This person wants to take action towards you. They want to come towards you. They want to express themselves. They want to communicate, but no, they're not doing anything. Nothing's going to come of this, according to this card and according to what I'm seeing. So, Virgo, before I get started reading this, if this is not your situation, that's perfectly okay. If it doesn't resonate within the first short little while, you know, scrap it and come on back to another, to another one later and check out your other birth chart placements. See if something else resonates more strongly. Um, today we're doing Earth and Air, and Friday will be Water and Fire. So your overall energy is that of patience, temperance. The temperance card comes up when you're in the middle of a very difficult time and you're in need of balancing out your energies. Now we could say balancing out your energy all day long and that means something different to other people. Quite frankly, it means you find your own sense of inner peace. You find your happiness within. You don't place that burden upon another person. You work on you, right? But we have somebody over here who's in kind of a muddled up energy. A muddled up energy. And the six of the six of wands here shows me, Virgo, that this person has great admiration for you. They think very highly of you. They find you very attractive. They find you somebody that they're drawn to. Uh, I just heard like a moth to a flame in case that, that means anything to anybody. They're drawn to you like a moth to the flame. But this particular person has some regrets about something that either they've done in their life or something that, that has occurred between the two of you. They feel like it's hopeless with this card. It's hopeless to come forward towards you. It's hopeless to come forward and express how they feel. With the High Priestess here, this person very likely is spiritual in nature, but this could also be that they're holding something back. What they're holding back is themselves from coming towards you because they're waiting in this deep emotional energy of the moon, right? They're waiting in that energy. They're looking at you going, oh gosh, look at Virgo over there. Virgo's very attractive. Virgo's very sweet. Virgo's very adorable, but oh, I can't move towards them because of something that happened in the past. So this person is sort of gridlocked. Um, we see them placing a wall up between the two of you, but not a big one, just a little one, a little wall between you and this person. They feel a need to guard themselves for some reason. 
because of something that happened in the past that was negative. Maybe the two of you were dating in the past and you broke up. Maybe the two of you are married or in a long-term committed relationship and you've had a big blow up. There's some sort of situation that has gone awry. And as a result of that, this person does not know how to proceed forward. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They're stuck. But what they want to do is communicate. No matter how hard it, it takes them to come forward, uh, you know, heart of hearts, this person wants to communicate with you. They, see, they appear to be really quite drowning in their emotions though, positive or negative. Now Virgo, we have some very difficult astrological placements at the time that I'm recording this video. Through the upcoming weekend, there are some difficult astrological placements. This will not apply to those of you that are returning at a later date to watch this video. But um, those difficult placements are giving you and this person a feeling of doubt, a strong feeling of doubt that it's possible, a strong feeling of doubt that you can move forward. And that's exactly what I'm seeing in this person. But yet you are winning in the present moment. Things are going good for you. Just like Taurus, Taurus was winning as well. Um, so right now this situation is going nowhere. It's in a stuck state. But you Virgo, you're moving forward towards this really beautiful energy of success in your life. You could be moving forward towards financial freedom, towards financial stability, towards independence, towards freedom of some sort. Valuing your alone time, valuing the time that you have to put into your career if you're a career man or woman, right? Valuing the, the possibilities and knowing that you're almost towards some sort of personal goal or personal victory. So that's really fantastic. On a heart level, you got a lot going on here too. Nine of Cups, you're going after what it is that you desire. You're going after something that makes you happy. A goal, a dream, a hope. There's a lot of communication there with that Eight of Wands. Alternatively, Virgo, if you're dealing with some heavy stuff right now, if you're dealing with some heavy shit and you're really kind of struggling, this would be an energy of you being out partying too much. Partying too much, over consuming of various different substances. So, you know, just be cautious of that in case this is negative. And then we have a situation here with the five of wands. Very likely you are talking to other people, your friends and your family about what do I do about this king of wands? What do I do about this king? Man or woman, doesn't matter. Whatever gender, gender you identify with, doesn't matter. What do I do about this person? So there's an energy here of you trying to figure them out and they're stuck. It's like they're in this little bubble. It's kind of like if you were to reach out to this person right now, Virgo, it would be like turning the, um, the snow globe upside down and shaking it, right? Turn the snow globe upside down and shaking it would send this king of wands topsy-turvy, not really knowing what to do in, in the present moment because it looks like they're working through some emotional stuff. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. If you have feelings for this individual and the two of you are currently in separation, then be patient with them. If this particular person is a long-term partner, a, you know, a live-in partner, a, um, a spouse, or a spouse in separation. Um, they're gonna need some tender loving care. They need to find a way to bring about a sense of peace. Let them have their corner of the house. You keep yours, but um, keep your communication light and peaceful and that will help this situation. All right, my dear Virgos, be patient, love and light. Big hug from Kimmy, kiss, kiss, Mwah. I'll see you soon.